우주 관련주들이 지난 정규장에서는 숨고르기에 들어간 모습이었습니다. 로켓랩 주가 단기 조정을 받아서 지난주 금요일 정규장에서 8% 넘게 빠졌는데요. 하지만 시장의 시선은 이미 내년을 향해 있습니다. 2026년 스페이스X의 기업 공개 가능성과 함께 트럼프 행정부는 2030년까지 장기 체류가 가능한 달기지 구축을 목표로 한 행정명령에 서명했습니다. 또 새로 취임한 나사 국장 제러드 아이 장먼 역시 CNBC와의 인터뷰에서 다음 단계의 거대한 도약을 준비하고 있다고 밝혔습니다. 이러한 가운데 로켓랩은 미국 우주 개발국 SDA의 핵심 위성 계약을 확보하며 우주 시스템 사업에서 정부 신뢰를 실제 계약으로 증명했다는 평가를 받고 있습니다. 로켓랩 최고 재무 책임자는 로켓랩 매출의 3분의 2가 이미 우주 시스템에서 나오고 있다며 회사가 발사 중심 기업에서 사업 구조가 전환되고 있다고 설명했는데요. 더 자세한 이야기는 영상에서 확인해 보시죠. I just referenced it before, the Space Development Agency Tranche 3 Tracking Layer Award. You're one of four companies that was awarded a chunk of change for this. How meaningful is it for Rocket Lab and specifically for your other business, uh, which is the space systems business, which is building all kinds of spacecraft uh, for, for on-orbit experiences? Yeah, no, this contract was a, was a huge thing for us. I think it just cements us as a very strategic partner uh, with our U.S. government customers. And I think we felt incredibly honored to be included in the group of other awardees for this tranche three tracking layer. Uh, you know, this was one of those where you really didn't see any, uh, I would say, uh, up and comers or kind of new entrants to the field. This was really the established players. If you look at the other awardees in L3, Harris, uh, Lockheed and Northrop uh, Grumman. So to have Rocket Lab included that really is, is, a, is a huge endorsement for us. And I think a good harbinger of things to come. You know, it's all about building this end-to-end -end space vision that really is, is, our, is our goal, which is, you know, we, we started off in the market with a small dedicated launcher that's become incredibly efficient and, and, and a great value add to the market. Then we started putting together all the pieces to build a, a, a space systems platform, uh, which ultimately will drive us to having, you know, our own applications on orbit. But really what this does is it really continues to kind of expand, um, you know, what is already two-thirds of our business today is, is space systems. A lot of people think of us as a rocket company, and that's completely understandable because, You know, when you showed those two launches at the beginning of the clip, uh, you know, I never get tired. I think a lot of people get tired watching a rocket launch. But at the end of the day, the space systems business is, you know, a much larger opportunity for us. Now, Neutron actually helps balance that back out. It helps bring, open up a much, much larger TAM where we'll have, you know, Neutron competing head-to-head -head, uh, with Falcon 9 in that medium lift launch category.